Hello everybody, welcome back to Scrappy Adam and welcome back to Scrap Backwards. It's Monday, let's get scrapping backwards. So I have been through my kit and chosen out these papers, which is predominantly Chamel with this Bella Boulevard Splash Zone paper thrown into the mix. Don't know if we're going to use that yet, we'll wait and see. This is going to be my background, I think. <clears throat> so I'm just going to trim off the branding strip. Trimmed off the branding strip. Apologies if you couldn't hear me then. I didn't think to not talk facing the other way. And then I thought about focusing our design sort of as a strip going down the middle here. So these are six by eight papers. And I am going to use two three by four photos because that's predominantly what I've printed. So I thought something like that and then maybe use these rulers in some sort of way. So I am going to cut this one just above this floral. Somewhere like so and I'm going to I'm going to commit straight away and get that stuck down. This tape on it is really doing my head in. So let's get that stuck. Let's see. I'm going to pop this this way. Going to go for there. It's quite easy to make sure that that paper is straight, unusually for me. And then what I am going to do is so this is four and a quarter just so i know the gap just to leave a an appropriate gap for our photos and then i'm going to place these there so we're going to have a gap between and i am simply going to cut where that line is there So that this can become our top so I'm going to use this just because I don't want to keep putting loads and loads of scraps back in the stash because I just don't use them so what's the point in keeping them is what I say so let's do, 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 go up there following that line and then line this one up here like so and then that is spot on and then on this side I feel like we could maybe add this top ruler the yellow and orange I hear you all asking, what's a ruler got to do with anything? Absolutely nothing. It's just a bit of colour. And just to add it in a bit of a different kind of way, I saw a similar layout from Alan Skipton, I think it was. And I quite like the design. So we're taking inspiration from Ali today, who is an awesome scrapbooker. If you've not checked her out, go check out her Instagram. And she has, I believe, just recently started on the YouTubes. So do check her out. She is seriously talented. And she's on DTs and gets published, etc. So we're going to go for that kind of vibe. So that is our background. No idea what photos we're using yet. This is part of the journaling pad from Chamel, which obviously I'm not going to be using and we're not going to use this either. I will keep that just because I love the colours on that and we could use that as is and just place an embellishment over that. <clears throat> and obviously that isn't quite a scrap even for me, so I, I will keep that as well. What I might do is actually use one more. So 
So let's see if we can get this one on as well. Which is just going to give us that little pop of colour. Because of course our photos will go underneath. That tape's ran out. It's all going wrong when on the adhesive front. I'm really not happy with that tape refills at the minute. Does anybody else having issues with them at the moment? Or is it just me? Probably just me. Okay, so I'm gonna pop that one over the top of that because that will still go under the photos. But I quite like the difference of that. So there is that. And now let's see. Um, do, 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 do. I think I should probably dive into our envelope of photos because I need to kind of establish layout. So let's see. We've got this guy which would fit very nicely there. I will um, cut them apart, I won't leave them as one. We've also got this, there are two different ones actually. Uh, do, 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 do. That one's not going to go. We've got this one actually, that's fun. Let's go with that one. Okay. <coughs> So I'm just going to cut these, trim these, and give it a little bit of a border. So that is our photos all cut and stuck down. And I've also pulled out this acrylic, it says let's get lost, which I'm going to place at the top of the layout over the blue portion. And that's going to be our title. I may add to it. So I might use a multi-font title, use some thickers or something. But for now, we're just going to use the acrylic. I'm trying to use the things, I'm trying to use up the stash, guys, and not hoard things. Use it, don't hoard it. Okay, so that is going to go there as our title. Let's get lost. It doesn't fade into the paper as much in real life as it appears to on camera. But that is the title there. And then I still have this tray. We've got two trays into one now. So we are making progress, but there is still nonetheless a lot of embellishment. So I'm going to use some of these to give us some detail down here. Where's the scissors? I'm just going to cut that to make that a bit straight so that we can add that in at an angle like so. I want some of the yellow on show basically. Now I could extend that but nah, that's going to go in the bin. I'm not keeping little itty bits. I also don't want to extend it all, so I think we're going to focus the embellishment here and on the actual cards there, just to give it a bit of a cohesive feel. So these are florals from Chamel, as I'm sure you guys know. I'm going to use this one as well, but we're going to cut this one in half so that we can use the other half on another layout. That's going to go in here and sort of stick about there. So that's probably it on the floral in front, unless we want to add a little something up here, which I think we might. Let's see. Let see for one shaky moment. Yeah, I'm going to add those two up there. 
One thing that I have been enjoying is stash diving and bust stash busting and using all the things. It, it feels good when you use up what you've got. And to be honest, I have built a lot of page kits for Follow Sketch and 30 Days and the Sketch series after that. And it's not even made a dent. Let's be honest, it's not made a dent. So it just goes to show that maybe there is a little too much. But I love it. So I'm not going to apologise for it. Okay, I'm going to tuck that one in under there and pop that there. So we've got a little detail going on there and it sort of brings that all together. <coughs> I seem to just be using camera flare at the moment, but hey, that's fine. But we have got a heart camera in the tealy blue, so I am going to use that. And I think we will pop that down at the bottom. Down here. You can always use a camera embellishment, can't you? on any kind of layout and then it's just a case of seeing if there is anything else that I'd like to use I don't think we need an awful lot more I think it is going to be quite a low-key layout for me which is a-okay that is absolutely fine I love this paper, so I don't really want to cover all that detail. I guess we could bring in that, maybe? Mm, no. I'm not liking that at all. Do, do, do. Enjoy the journey. I'm going to pop that across there. I'll use some Nouveau Deluxe for that. That kind of fits in because we've got the white from the acrylic title and the white on the flowers. So I feel like that works and fits nicely there. Enjoy the journey. I will add a little bit of journaling, which will probably go here maybe, I'm not sure. And that's, of course, if I remember to, you know, it has been known. That is definitely one thing I need to improve on is the journaling front. And I am trying. I'm going to add a couple more acrylic pieces. These are ladybirds. Just peeling off the back. And then I probably should look at the stickers we've got in the Scrap Backwards kit and see if we have a frog. Because it is froggy themed. Um, I also have frog flare, which I probably should have pulled out but forgot. So we will make sure we use them next week. <laughs> but I've got a feeling this kit will be uh, coming with us into another month. So we've added a couple of ladybirds there. Then we've got our stickers. So we've got a little frog sticker there. So I am going to add that on here. Uh, do, 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 do. That's fine. And then, just to finish us off, I think, I was going to doodle a border, but I don't think I need to, really. Um, I think we will just finish with a couple of these Chamel Go Now Go Hearts, which I'm just going to tuck in and amongst our papers and embellishments. So we've got one that says go, that's going to go there. 
and one that says happy, which can go there. And then we've got these two grid style ones there. I have just seen this good times foam sticker, but I don't think we need it to be honest. That is going to do it. I am going to leave it there. I am going to leave it and not make it a more is more layout. We're going to go for the minimal, which I do like now and again. So that is Scrap Backwards for this week, guys. Don't forget to check out what Kathy has been up to. You will find her link, as always, in the title and description box. Please do check it out. I will see you next week for Scrap Backwards and tomorrow for day six of Follow a Sketch February. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you soon. Bye for now.